doing good. So I went on, got down to 10. I went back to number five. It says that the virgin woman rise early. I said, er, that is not her. <laughs> Pump your brakes. Pump your brakes. But in the program here, it tells her, I said life story in a short version. She didn't leave very much for me to say about her. But she did need one thing for me to say, that she has a B.A. degree. All right. Born again Christian. Amen. And it's very wonderful for me, for me to be able to stand here and say that about my sister, because a lot of sisters fight. Amen. They don't have a lot to say about each other. But I love my sister from the bottom of my heart to the bottom of her heart. Yes. So I can present the song, introduce to us my wonderful beauty. Amen, 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 amen. Virtuous women of the past have paved the way for us. 
it took some virtuous women to be able to make it so that I can stand here. With me, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Okay. Let us bow for a word of prayer. Most gracious and eternal Father, we come, Lord, to tell you thank you. We thank you now, Lord, for allowing us this opportunity. We thank you for these women today that have come together to celebrate Women's Day. Lord, we ask now that you would bless us, that you would let us down in your word, and that you would speak to these, your people, and that you would tell them what you would want them to know. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. Now I got to give my mic. Yes, she does. And the thing that makes her virtuous is she never complains. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now that was just the introduction to the setup for the description of a real virtuous woman. Yeah. This proverb 31 woman is careful to recommend herself to her husband. Yes. Her own husband. Yes. Amen. 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 See, I can't see y'all behind the glass. I need them for real. She she recommends, she's careful to recommend herself to her own husband. Own husband. Own husband. Touch the neighbor and say she said her own husband. She said her own husband. She recommends, makes herself appealing and desirable. That's what that means. She recommends herself to her husband's esteem and affection, his respect Amen. and admiration. Amen. She knows his mind. Amen. And is willing. That he ruled over her. Amen. And don't y'all throw nothing up here. Amen. <laughs> she can be trusted. She can be trusted with the money management of the run of the family and the home. But most of all, yeah. she, he can trust her with his heart. All right. Amen. He is happy in her. Yes. And she makes it her constant business 
to do him good. Amen. He's not ashamed of her. Amen. In other words, he can take her out in public and she know how to act. Yeah. All right. She All right. Still be a lady. Yeah. Okay. She's still gonna be that virtuous woman when she get out in public. She takes pains in her duties to her man and her family. She carefully fills up her time so that none is lost. Here come this part, y'all. See, I got a bad day too. She rises early. Well. Um, early in the morning, she gets up well, and applies herself to business matters. Well. That's proper for the woman. Now she ain't digging ditches. And she ain't clever no pole. She doing business with woman business. The Bible tells us that she makes fine linens and she sells it. Yeah. And when I was teaching this about Sunday school class, we talked about the purple like you dyed it. And I see you adorned in purple. There's that's something special about purple. Yes, it is. Purple. Yes, it is. And what she does and what she doing when she do it with all her power. And she trifles not. She trifles not, y'all. Help us, help us. That means she's not trifling. Yeah. Help us now. Now, y'all may not know what trifling folk without no Come on, tell us about it. Tell us, tell us. She don't just sit around all day watching soap operas, drinking Coca-Cola, and gossiping on the phone with her girlfriend. She's about her business. She's taking care right. of her family. She makes what she, do, what she does turn to good. So what she do? She got she working with her hands. Yes. All She's right. a prudent manager. She knows how to manage it well. Yeah. Everything fit together. Yeah. Proverbs 30 and 16 says she considers a field and she buys it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She flipping houses, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Men will buy. We talk about these trifling women now. Men will buy and never consider if it's affordable for the household. Yeah. Now let me stick a pin in there. All right. Girls, we like to shop, right? Yeah, y'all do. We won't consider whether or not it's financially sound at this time to make this purchase. And neither will we go to our husband and find out if we think we should make it. We just go out. Say it now. And we get whatever, that's my husband saying it now. Yeah. We go out <laughs> and we get whatever we want. We get whatever we big and bad enough to do. And then we turn around and we get them little notices in the mail called insufficient bond notes. So, <laughs> wow. Because we didn't consider what we should have been doing. Yeah. Whether or not we should have been buying or not. That's not virtuous, that's tribal. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, she provides well for her house. We still talking about the virtuous woman now. Yeah. She lays up something for hereafter. Yeah. In other words, she has put something away for a yeah. yeah. Creating a nest she egg. She didn't spend it all. Uh -huh. She didn't shop it all. all right. She didn't shop on HSN. QBC. <laughs> <laughs> Look my Yeah. Yeah, she didn't spend it all on e She put something up when times got rough. Uh -huh. She made sure that all of our houses fulfilled their duties to God. Look at the virtuous woman. She making sure that everybody in the house is getting up going to Sunday school. Yeah. yeah. All right. She's making sure that they're in a necessary ministry meetings where they should be. She's making sure that they're fulfilling their work to God. Because see, it's more than just doing it at the house. You got to bring this thing on into greater pioneer. All right, all right. All right. And she is respected in her home. Yeah. yeah. Amen. She is respected. Did you know there are some women that's not respected in the home? Yes, it is. Did you, did you know that there are some women that get slapped around, get beat upside the head? They're not respected in the home. Yeah. But this virtuous woman. All right. This, this woman right here is well respected in her, yeah. in her home. The Bible said her children rise up and call her blessed. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, there's a lot of times there are other words they call you to start with the same thing that they call and smoke in the house. All right. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. Talk about it. Talk about it now. She is discreet and obliging. Every word she says, she shows she governs herself by the rules of wisdom. Uh -huh. The mm. virtuous woman has wisdom, y'all. 
All right. Wisdom. She gives good sound advice to others. Yes. She ain't talking no junk. Yes. She's giving good sound advice. And the law of God and kindness is written in her heart. Yes, it is. She's a sweet woman. Yes. Yes. And above all, talking about the, the virtuous woman now, she fears the Lord. Oh, no. Beauty is not pro not proof of wisdom and goodness, All right. but it has deceived many of men. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's some men that just go after this. What look good on the outside? All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Say that. They Say that. The wisdom and the goodness on the inside. Amen. Because yeah. she may have a few extra pounds on. Yeah. Right. She is not curvaceous. Yeah. <laughs> but it may be fake men. Just let me talk to the men for a minute. Let me, let me help y'all. Uh, help us, help us, help us. Just in case y'all don't know, a lot of this stuff that these women got is fake. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. What? Yes, yeah, it's fake. Uh -huh. It's fake. It starts from the head all the way to the feet. The hair ain't real. Yeah. The eyes not real. They, they don't have blue eyes. Y'all. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Who can find a virtuous woman? Women, when we practice to implement the word of God, we must study, 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 prepare, 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 study, and prepare, and study some more. Now we get ready to talk about implementing the word of God. That's your theme, right? Right. Virtuous women implementing the thing. Okay? Virtuous women, they're gonna start implementing here, y'all. We're gonna see some changes. The word implement means to put a plan or decision into action. The virtuous woman implementing the word of God, this means that the women of Greater Pine Hill has made a conscious decision to implement God's word yeah. in their everyday life. Conscious decision. They're going to implement the word of God. Yeah, yeah that's what they say. They're going to let their light shine that men and women, boys and girls, may see their good works and glorify the Heavenly Father. For we know that it is not by might, not by power, yeah. but by thy spirit, says yes. For it is in him that we move and that we have our being. Yes. We know that as virtuous women. Yes. And since we've decided to implement the word of God, we're going to do all of those things right there. But to be a virtuous woman, here we go, y'all, you must first be a woman of faith. You got to know that you know that you know that the God you serve is able to do anything. Right. And he's able to keep you, even when it don't look good. Right. You got to have that faith. Right. To be a virtuous woman, you must be a woman that possess the fruit of the spirit. Right. Love. love. Yeah, some folk ain't lovable, but you got to love them anyway. Right. Joy. Joy. Peace. Yeah. And long suffering. suffering. Yes. Gentleness. Yeah. Goodness. Yes. Meekness. Yes. Temperance. Can't get mad about everything. All right. Virtuous women don't get mad counting stone off. All right. That's it. I ain't gonna play with you no more. I ain't gonna sing in no choir no more. I ain't paying no more tithes. I ain't giving nothing. And again, faith. For we know that without faith is what? Impossible to please God. Yes, it is. To be a virtuous woman, you must be a self-sacrificing and humble woman of God. Because see, it ain't all about you. Self-sacrificing means that it ain't all about me. If they want to wear pearls and a pink t-shirt and some jeans, it's all right. I'm talking about Zion Hill now. Okay. To be a virtuous woman, you must be a woman of wisdom. Proverbs 8 and 11 tells us that wisdom is better than rubies. Mm -hmm. And all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Wisdom. The virtuous woman attains wisdom. The virtuous woman stretches out her hand to the poor. Yes, yeah, she reaches her hand to the needy. That's in verse 20. Now, what do you mean about she helped the needy? Well, little Junior next door, been wearing the same uniform. It's too short. It's thin. And your son, Big Junior, got plenty of me on even wear. And you got him in the closet and you ain't doing nothing with him. What's wrong with giving the little junior? Big junior can't wear them no more. Help, help somebody. All right. Don't get all you can, get and all you get and sit on sit the on can. Sit on the can, yeah. Help somebody. That's what the virtuous woman does. She has stretches her hand out to the needy. You know the folk down the street ain't got no food? Yeah. You got two refrigerators and three deep freezers. Wow. with good works. Good works. She's not a busy body. All right. She ain't got time trying to figure out what's going on because she's too busy doing what God wants her to do. She ain't got time to be keeping up no mess because she's trying to keep it. 
trying to please God. Yes. Now here's the implementing part. I want you to listen to me good, okay? First Timothy 3 and 1 says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husband. Amen. That if any obey not the word, talking about the husband now, mm -hmm. they also may be without the word, be won by the conversation of the wife. Gonna get Mr. Yeah. to come to church. All right. If you cussing them out on the way to <laughs> Wow. Wow. Say that again. I said, how you gonna get Mr. to come to church? Yeah. If you cussing them out all the way out there. Wow. That's not a conversation that's gonna win. And if your neighbor, this is, we don't get on off the hook for a minute, but if your neighbor see you cutting the shine all the time, and but yet and still, then you come with your Bible under your arm. All right. The scripture says that the conversation of the wife can win the husband. Amen. Now, I don't know where the husband's at. I'm recording. You recording? Okay. I don't know where the husband's at this morning. But it just seemed like to me, and I told y'all, y'all probably won't even come back no more. It just seemed like to me somebody should have brought theirs with them. Amen. Your own husband. Yeah. Okay, we we'll get out y'all business now. The virtuous woman implemented the word of God. Yeah. A gracious woman retained an honor. That's what Proverbs 11 and 16 said. A gracious woman. And gracious mean, I looked it up. As my sister said, I Googled it. Courteous, kind, pleasant. And well mannered, gracious. The Christian belief meaning is showing grace. That, 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 that's a gracious woman, the one that retains honor. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Amen. Uh -oh. Amen. Uh oh. But she that maketh a shame is a rottenness in his bond. Wow. A virtuous woman. Is a crown to a husband. That means he's proud. I remember we talked about he wouldn't shame up. Yeah. Amen. But if she don't happen to be a virtuous woman, she make it a shame. It is like a rottenness in his bone. Yeah. It's like having bone cancer. All right. That's painful. Y'all looking at me funny. It's quiet in here. Proverbs 12 and 4 said it. I didn't make it up. Now let's look at Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman, woman buildeth her house. But the foolish woman plucketh it down with her hands. Yeah. And then faith is deceitful and beauty is fine. Yes, it is. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. A woman that feared the Lord. How do you know she feared the Lord? Because she's a virtuous woman. She get up her. She's taking care of the house, the children. She's, she's doing what she can for the kingdom, for the building of the kingdom of God. It'll show up in her. You will know it when you see it. You will know. You won't have to wonder about it. You will know it. It ain't because she look good. It ain't because she smell good. Because it's on the inside. To be virtuous, you got to have it on the inside. Amen. Because we can put it together on the outside. They make enough stuff off the holy and everything we need held in. We get what we're going and get back on. That's we can right. We put it together and make it look good. But what about the inside? Yeah, yeah. What's on the inside? Amen. How's your heart doing? Amen. How are you loving? Yes. How are you respecting and treating people right? The virtuous woman. Virtuous. In order to be a virtuous woman, and I'm almost through, I'm getting ready to go back to Tennessee. You must know the man named Jesus. Oh, yeah. Yes. If you don't know Jesus, then you can't be virtuous because you're about to trick people. All right, all right. You must know that he died for every one of our sins. And that his trip to Calvary is healed yeah. so that you and me could become virtuous women. All right. And that we could implement this word. In our lives and in the lives of our family and in the lives of our friends, we first must know that the greatest man in history is Jesus. Yes, he is. We must know that.
that he had no servants, yet they called him master. Yeah, yeah. We must know that he had no medicine, yet they called him healer. Uh huh. That's because he's healed somebody. I know he's healed somebody. Yeah. Yes, he has. Yeah. We must know that he had no army, yet they feared him. We must know he won no military battles, yet he conquered the world. Yeah. yeah. We must know he committed no crimes. Yeah, yet yeah. They crucified. Yeah. They crucified him, y'all, on the hill. Lord the Jesus. Yeah. And he hung out there with the intention of me on his mind. Yeah. He had you on his mind when he went to camp. Yeah. And he didn't get down off the cross because he loved us. Yeah. He stayed on that cross where he hung the man and died. Yeah. But that's not how the story is. All right, all right. They tell me on the third day morning he got up. The third day. And when he got up, he got up with all power. All power. All power was given to him. All power. Yeah. And he told us that greater works we would do. Yeah. Because the father had to go back to the son. That's right, that's right. But that's because he got up one morning. Yeah, yeah. And I want you to know that he got up in me. Yes. And because he got up in me, I know he lives. Yes. I can I face I'm tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. I can get up in the morning. I can get up to every service, but because he gets he lives. Yeah. I can get up. And because he lives, I can tell you, you and you. Yeah. That he is faithful. Yes, he is. And he's just. Yes, he is. And he will stay with you if you ask him. Yes. He'll walk with you. He'll talk with you. Yes, he will. Yeah, but you gotta ask him. Yeah. If you don't ask him to come in and make you a burger with woman, you'll still be right. Yeah. But because of his love, his undying love for us. Yes. I just want you to know that he, he lives today. All right. He's not in the tomb. He's not dead. He got up. Yeah. And when he got up, he got up and gave us power. Power. We got power, y'all. Yes, we have. We got power over terrorists. We got power over ISIS. We got power over demons. Yeah. We got the power. Power. And because it's women today. Brought you as women, I want you to know that you walk in great power. We need to learn to use our power for the goodness of the Lord. Yes. I just want to thank you, Greater Pioneer, for inviting me today. And I just want to ask you this on my way to my seat. Who can find a virtuous woman? All right, all right. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.